today I'm going to collect all the money from my laundromat and vending machines and see how much money they made in the past 10 days. These here are my small machines. They can do two loads of laundry and I charge $4. I bought the laundromat in 2021 for $65,000 and then put another $30,000 into it to renovate. Here's the last of my small machines. Came out to a little over two buckets, which isn't too bad. These next machines are my triple loads, so they can do up to three loads of laundry, and I charge $5. It surprised me that water isn't my largest utility bill. I pay about $500 for water, which I don't think is too bad. My biggest utility bill is actually gas, which averages about $1,500 per month. In the beginning, the hardest part was learning how to fix all the machines. And if you're new to business, you're going to have to learn how to set everything up legally as well. The easiest way to get the legal stuff taken care of quickly and correctly is by using a company called Taylor Brands. It's an online business builder that helps you start, manage, and grow your business. All you've got to do is go to their website, select the services you need, and they'll literally walk you through the whole process. I think their golden goose is how easy they make LLC registration. If you're going to run a business, it's super important that you keep your business and personal assets separate, no matter what type of business you have. They can also help you get your EIN, business license, insurance, permits, website, everything. So here's what all the quarters look like after I've collected them. Now let's head over to the soap machine. Here I sell detergent, soap, softeners, and laundry bags. And it's not looking too bad. It's only been 10 days, so I wasn't expecting for it to be super full. This machine alone won't make me rich, but I only really work about one hour per month on it, so the juice is definitely worth the squeeze. All I have to do is stock it and collect the money. To count the quarters, I weigh them. It comes up to $20 per pound. And then here we have the quarters from the washers and dryers. I had to do it in two batches because it weighed too much. So that was the first one, and here's the second one. And then it's time to collect the cash. I have two bill acceptors. Here's the first one, which is looking pretty good. And then here's the second one. Not too shabby either. And then here we have 10 days worth of cash in my laundromat. Let's count it up and see how much it came out to. My laundromat also accepts debit and credit, so I'll be adding that to the total at the very end. My laundromat has two sides to it, self-serve where people do their own laundry and wash and fold where we do it for them. Self-serve is a lot busier during the winter and wash and fold is a lot busier during the summer. The wash and fold definitely makes a lot more money, but the margins are a lot smaller because of labor. So here's how much the cash came out to, and then here's how much money my laundromat made in the past 10 days. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure you check out Taylor Brands.